Okay guys, today I'm going to do a short video on uh, this new SkyRC charger. So the angle is a bit tight. Uh, anyway, this is the new one, NC2500 Pro. Okay, I'm just going to briefly go through the features. I've already installed my batteries in. So the first thing you want to see is all the features it has. Um, Let's start by M1. One is charge. So you can set your voltage, uh, sorry, your current from 100 milliamps to maximum 2.5 amps. Data peak is when you hit peak, it will just charge at 5 millivolts. Okay, timer probably something to do with after you have done charging how long you want it to stop trickle is when it hits the max capacity and then it doesn't uh, it drops it starts to drop the voltage that's when you know it's full so you want to tell the charger to keep pumping 30 milliamps just to maintain its uh, peak charge so this one is set settable from 30 to 99. I don't recommend a high M because you will keep the battery very hot. So keep it very low. Step charge is like a feature from this particular charger. So I think you will do something like this. I have not tried this feature, which I'm going to test in the next time. So this charge, basically you can set the current from 1.5 to 100 it is strongly recommend not to set to more than 1000 unless you really want to quickly drain your battery then you can set what's the cutoff footage from settable 0 0.8 to 1 volt most of the time you set to 0 0.9 this depends on batteries uh, most batteries cannot charge down to 0 0.8 so be careful uh, recommend to set to 1 or 0 0.9 okay refresh is when you have not used your battery for very long so if you leave it at the default setting this works for most of our mini 4 batteries this one is settable from minimum 100 to 2.5 same as your regular charge so for when you do your refresh, you can set to what's the rated capacity of your battery. So if you are running a 1000 mAh battery, like for example, Neochems, then you set to 1000. Okay, discharge at 800 mAh and how long you want it to rest. This is default. You, you can set to whatever values you need. So from minimum 30 to maximum 60 minutes. Rest is important so that the battery gets time to cool down. So if you charge higher, you should rest longer. And how many times you want to do it? Typically, people do it three times. Okay, so maximum up to three times, one times, two times, or three times. Okay, break in is when you want to break in your battery. So at this point, you set what's the battery capacity. In this case, we set to 1000. So you can set from same minimum of six, uh, sorry, 500 to maximum 4000. We, I, unlikely you will see a battery that high. So you should just set to whatever the rated capacity of the batteries. Okay, battery meter basically will tell you what's the current voltage of the battery and what's the current internal resistance so this particular unit if i'm not wrong from the manual it will prevent um, the charge rate from being so high once it hit a certain uh, resistance reading useful to prevent um, spoiling of the batteries but 
from what I've seen in competitive racing, people want to really blast a lot of uh, current into the batteries so that yeah, they get a higher voltage. Of course, most people who are into competitive racing would know that batteries wouldn't last very long, but that's what competitive racing is all about. Most of them regard the rechargeable batteries as disposable anyway. So this is an interesting function for this particular unit. There is a slot here called motor braking. Sorry if it's dark. Okay, and it uses the XT60 connector here. I do not have them, so I cannot test this function. But just going through, it seems like you can set the voltage. You can limit the current. And this one is an interesting one. What's direction auto? I have no idea what it is. I have to wait for my cable to arrive before I can start this feature. For now, I'm just going to leave this part out. Okay. This unit also have a USB out here. So basically, if you attach anything here, like for example your phone, it will assign the certain power like this. So if you attach anything here, it will just start show you what what's what's happening here and lastly the basic settings you can set your backlight for how long you want it to be on maximum 30 minute minimum one minute if you leave it to on means you will forever be on and will not turn off sound if you want the sound so you can hear the sound i find it annoying personally so i turn it off uh, for those people who are metric or imperial, you can use Celsius or Fahrenheit. Up to you. Okay, temperature cut off. For most of the time, to competitive racing, we would set to highest. We don't really care about the temperature. If you care about the longevity, longevity of your batteries, set to 55. If not, just leave it at maximum possible. It also supports future firmware updates if available and if you find that your yeah, unit is acting like crazy just set to default setting and the last one is it shows you what's the hardware version and the firmware version of this unit okay so that's basically it for my review not really a review but just a run through of this unit i'm still waiting for my cable for me to test in the motor run function which is why i'm interested in this unit in the first place so as for today i'm going to charge my batteries at maximum output and just want to see what this delta peak thing does okay just a quick uh, video on charging i'm just going to set at 2.5 amps not recommended but as i said Competitive racing is different. You spoil your batteries all the time. Highly recommend not to go more than your rated capacity. So, for example, if you are using a thousand milliamp batteries, set your current to thousand milliamp. Okay, start. So the reading is quite basic. It will just show you the elapsed time, the current voltage, the charge rate and how much charge I think my batteries are quite full so in 2.5 M charging it should be quite fast so I'm going to speed up this part and show you the end results Okay, we are nearing full charge. You will know that it will go to full charge when it hits a certain voltage and doesn't go higher anymore. For example, you see number 1, 1.58 and it keeps juggling between 158 and 157. Right now, the batteries are not warm. It's getting warmer, obviously, but it's not very warm. But what I'm interested in is, is this voltage accurate? I'm going to get my battery multimeter. Okay, 
so that we can see together what's the charge is this battery accurate or not sorry for that okay this is uh, my homemade not say homemade uh, it's a customized uh, multimeter basically just can accept batteries so we are interested to see if these batteries are what this is you see for example the Fujitsu ones they start to drop to 155 after they started loaded so let's try the Fujitsu ones first okay so it's slightly off by 0 0.1 which is fine. Let's try the other one. So it's the same, slightly off by 0 0.01 volts. As you, you can see how fast it drains. Huh? So usually if people doing high speed, they want to load their batteries as quickly as they can. Okay, now for this one, number four, one five eight. Let's see. Okay, it's quite close. 158. But you can see how fast it drains. Okay, this one, 157. So, it says 157 here. Yep, 157. Okay, quite good. Now, this one has been, it's been done. As you can see, it start to drop to 152. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, you see it stop not dropping as quickly at 152 so i would say this is quite a strong battery you can use this for competitive racing by the time you load you probably have a full three volts for you to run and lastly we have this one because i did set a trickle charge of 30 millivolts with I have no idea if it try to pump this or not. So for now, it's been dropping to 149. So let's check this out. So yeah, so it is quite what it says it is. So I can trust the meter on this guy for my voltage. Okay, I'm gonna pump in a fresh set of batteries not really fresh uh, but not those that I just charged I'm going to try a different pair that have not been charged yet ok so let's get out the screen First, we are going to see the meter. Okay. If you want to refresh the resistance reading, just back and go in again. If it change, then if it doesn't change, then this is should be the latest readings. Okay. So now we're going to charge. This time, I want to set my trickle to maximum. And this is also at maximum okay let's start okay i'm going to fast forward until the end of the charge Alright, we are nearing the end of the charge. Usually, on average, you should be charging about 100 ma for it to hit full charge at 2.5 m, obviously. So, same, I'm going to check its voltage. So, what we have basically done just now is that we have set the trickle charge to be at 99. 
milliamps i'm not not sure if that is going to help maintain a high voltage or not but we'll see okay i'm trying to hit a 1.6 volt batteries uh, so far i've not seen any that here 1.5 uh, 1.6 volts yet so if you own a NC220, it keeps reading at 1.6 something, which is not that accurate. It's off by a lot. So, this charger at least shows you the right voltage. So if it says 1.58 or 1.59, I, I believe it's 1.59 or 59 in this case. Okay, we are going to wait a while more. I will see if this will change to 160 or not, but I don't think so. Okay, it's not that warm. It is getting hotter, but it's not warm. Okay, this one has been hovering at 15159. I'm just going to test them. So this one, one five nine. Let's see. Okay, this battery hits one five eight, but drains pretty quickly. Okay, let's wait for this one. Okay, so this guy is done. This one I think is about to be done very soon. I believe how they know if it's done is when the voltage drop again. So right now it's 158, right? Maybe if it drops to 157, then it will cut off. Because it is not hot. Okay, like it's quite hot to the touch right now. But this guy is not moving from 158. So let's just check this guy out. It's off by a lot. This is one five six only. So not that accurate, but good enough. Now most of them is done. So it says one five one here. Okay, very accurate. One four seven, very accurate. One fifty, accurate. Finally, one four nine. Okay, quite accurate. So you can see for yourself that the reading here and here is quite accurate. So I guess that's about it for my quick overview of this charger. Uh, you can get it from the playground Singapore if you are from Singapore. Uh, check with them at the playground sg in instagram okay take care see you again next time bye bye